kind of a whole new realm of vocab again. Okay. I already have some Quizlet stuff up on Google Classroom, so use that to your advantage, um, especially when it comes to identifying these angles that we're going to go through. But first, we've got to talk about this stuff. Okay. So parallel lines are two coplanar. Okay, so that brings us back to some vocab from the beginning again. What does coplanar mean? On the same plane, yep. Okay, so two coplanar lines that do not intersect. And I know in Elfro 1 we spent a lot of time doing parallel lines. A lot of that same type of thing here. Okay, arrows are used to indicate the lines are parallel. We use this symbol like this. Two parallel lines that look like that. So my symbolic notation would be AB is parallel to CD. It would look like that. Okay. Parallel planes are going to be planes that do not intersect. Okay, so in this case, we've got plane J is parallel to plane K. Okay, to my cart, right here. Okay, the top of my cart is a plane, the middle shelf is a plane, and the bottom shelf is a plane. Those are all parallel planes because they're never going to intersect each other, right? Okay. Also, like if they were closed off on the side, like this side would be parallel to this side, right? All right. So skew lines are non-coplanar lines. So they can't be on the same plane, and They do not intersect. Okay. So if I'm going with, let's take a look at the line PW. Okay. A line that is skewed to TW. So TW is on the top and the side, right? So we could go with a line that's not on the top or the side. So maybe. PQ, because those are never going to intersect, right? PW and PQ. Okay, so if you look at my cart, that would be like this side right here, this deal, and like this bottom side down there. Okay, that's what we mean by skew lines. If we take a look at line, let's say PT, can somebody tell me a skew line from PT? QB. UV. UV would work, yep. Okay, so we're saying this one right here. Because those aren't on the same plane, so they won't ever intersect. Okay, and let's pick. Another one, let's say we take WV. WV would be skewed to QR would work, yep, down here, so that's going a different direction. Okay, so skew, skew is a little bit harder for us to wrap our heads around than the other ones. Because we're used to hearing parallel, right? Yeah? Yes, no, maybe so. Alright, so if we look at this, all segments are parallel to AE. So if I'm looking at AE right here, oh, shoot. <laughs> Thanks. So 
AE is this line right here. So let's say this line right here in my part, what's going to be parallel to AE? DH, so that one back there is going to work. So DH, what else? BF or FB, either one, that one works. And CG, good. Okay, and so let's talk about CG. Okay, there's also always a plane that goes, that connects them diagonally. Okay, so let's say that I'm talking this line and this line back here. If I stuck some papers here, do you see how there's this diagonal plane that goes through that? If you can't see this, you can get up and take a look at that. See how that diagonal plane would connect those? That diagonal plane isn't drawn on your diagrams, but know that that's there. Does that make sense? All right, so parallel planes are planes that are parallel to each other. How many letters do we need for planes? We need three letters for plane. Okay, in this case, since they're all rectangles, you could do four letters, but we don't need four letters. So, what do you want to start with? You want to start with top, bottom, Front, back, or side to side? Top? Alright, so if we do the top, how can I name the top? I need three of the four letters for the top, right? So we can say E, H, G. Any of the three out of the four letters will work. So what's parallel to the top? Well, the bottom. So we need three out of the four letters. A, B, C would work. So E, H, G, A, B, C. Those are parallel planes. The top and the bottom. Just like on my cart, we got the top, we got the bottom. Okay, what else do you want to do? Um, let's go with ten O. Which one do you want to use? The sides or the back and front? The sides, the sides? alright. So if we name the side, the side is going to be this guy. So I need three out of the four letters. E, A, D, and who's it going to be parallel to? This side over here. F, B, C. Alright. Alright, so now we need skew to GH. So I've got GH is right here. Right? So we need lines that are skew to GH. Give me one line, Kara. F what? FB would work. That's not on the same plane, it's not going to go through it. Um, Chris, EA is going to work. Uh, next one, Marissa, BC, yes, this one is going to work. And we should have one more than Olivia's gun. What's up? A D, yes. All right, questions where we came up with all those skew lines? Yes, no. Kind of. Why are we so quiet today? Holy smokes, who's going to keep having the 
Okay, and they're in what we call corresponding spots. Okay, so my first set of corresponding angles would be top left is one, and what's the top left of this group? Five. So my first group of corresponding angles is angle one and angle five. Okay, you must use your angle symbols. So don't just call them one and five. Make sure you label it angle one and angle five. Okay, so my second group of corresponding angles could be top right. So top right would be angle two and who? Angle six. Angle two and angle six are corresponding. So what would be another group? Alright, so bottom right is angle 3 and angle 7. And my last group is going to be angle 4 and angle 8. Alright, so corresponding angles, okay with those? Alright, alternate interior. So we talked about our interior angles being on the interior of my two lines, right? And then what's alternate mean? What's another word for alternate? Yeah, like our opposite, right? So alternate interior are going to be angles that are on the interior and on the opposite sides of my transversal. So angle 4 and angle 6, because those are on the opposite sides and they're on the interior. Okay, and so then what's my other group? Angle, angle 3 and angle 5. Okay, so they're alternate, top, bottom, and on opposite sides. Okay. So alternate exterior, so based off of what we know from alternate interior, what do you suppose alternate exterior is going to be? On the exterior and on opposite sides. So angle 1 is on the exterior. Who is its alternate exterior? Alright, so angle 1 and angle 7. And so then what's my other group? Two and angle eight. All right, so consecutive interior. Again, we're going interior part, and consecutive just means that they're on the same side as my transversal. So angle four and five, and who else? Angle 3 and angle 6. Sometimes you will see consecutive interior angles called same side interior angles because they're on the same side as that transversal. Does that make sense? So far, so good? All right, so let's try to figure out what we're doing here. Alright, so angle 1 and angle 8 are, they're alternate, you're right, alternate exterior, yep. So now they have the drawing a little bit different, instead of going up and down, they're going sideways. 2 and 3 are going to be consecutive interior. Five and seven, corresponding, um, ten sets, two and seven, alternate interior, yep, one and three here, corresponding again, yep, 
and six and seven left. Negative interior. Okay, so are they super horrible? Not really. Is it any different when I have more than one line? No, it's still the same thing. So five and 13 are going to be corresponding. Joe Ball, 7 and 14. Alternate interior. 3 and 6. Kyla? And are they on the same side or the opposite side? So that's going to make it alternate. Okay, so if I'm going alternate now, are they on the interior or the exterior? There you go. Good. So alternate exterior. 9 and 16 page. Alternate exterior. Good. 4 and 7, Marissa. Consecutive interior, good job. Stop me if you're confused. Two and ten, Maya. Corresponding, yep. Eight and fourteen, Jackson. Consecutive interior. Six and eleven. Anyone want to talk about six and eleven? Yeah, it's not going to be any of them. Okay, they kind of look like they're alternate exterior, right? But are they on the same transversal? No. That one's going to be done. 4 and 13. Tyler? Are they? Be careful with this. Are they on the same transversal? We're going to go none on that one. Okay, and then four and nine. Let's go Hannah R. Alternate interior, yep. Okay, so